<laughs> Anyways, you guys got to hear this story. This story is not a rebel story. This story is Saturday, bloody Saturday. What's happening? Brittany go? Hobbs, my living girlfriend. She leaving? I'm in a serious relationship with Brittany Hobbs. She leaves her purse at work one day because oh, she was geez. drunk. Oh, shit. She comes back to work the next day and oh, pulls shit. out an envelope which she thought was her paycheck. Oh, Jesus. So she gives it to me thinking it's her check and to deposit it oh, no. into the bank account. It's a fucking love letter from Ruben, the oh, wigger Jesus. cook. No, no, no. Don't, I, I got to read it. All First right. of all, I don't know how she thought it was her check. She must have been so blasted out of her mind. The envelope... He drew like a doodle on it. Can you explain this better than I? I can't Look see. at this envelope. You can't see. What are you, 90? Oh, my God. It's a horror. It's like something a kindergartner yeah. would do. It's literally just pen circles in the corner. It's not yeah. even a design. Well, he tried to draw riffraff on the corners, like making it look like a pretty envelope. Anyways, you, Horrible. you open it up. It's a trifold pink card. It's pink oh my God, with throw flowers up. on it. Uh, daisies all over the all over the card. Let me read to you what the pre-written card says. And remember, he knows about me. He knows she has a boyfriend. Are you going to kick his ass? And he left this, and she doesn't even know. She doesn't know right now. She doesn't know. She doesn't even know yet. Oh, look out, Brittany. This is what the, the stock writing on the front of the card says. I know things aren't easy for you right now. You may be wondering how you're going to deal. <laughs> You may be wondering how you're going to deal with everything that's facing you, but I know you. You have a strong spirit. And he underlined, you have a strong spirit on the stock card. Tactless. And even though it might be hard for you to believe, I know you have what it takes to get through this time. What is she? Did someone die? I have no idea. Listen to this. And if you ever need to talk, or if you'd like the support of a friend, I'll always be there. And then he underlines again. With open arms, a listening ear, and a loving shoulder to lean on. He underlined now, all that. Me, it's like here's the good parts. Me as a man. Uh, as before a man. I wrote this card, I'd probably go on Ellen and fuck a dude on national TV before I picked out a card like this. I'd give yeah. a christening card to a newborn baby mm. before I did some bullshit like this. And I hate babies and Jesus. Mm-hmm. This, you, is a, this is okay. Go ahead. Continue. You open the card. It's three card pages. It's like a trifold card. Three pages of handwritten card, which most people don't do. Most people will get a card and write, like, best wishes, blah, 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 their name. This guy writes on a card. Never written on a card. I never buy cards anymore, but when I did buy cards, it would be Mike under all, right, well, all yeah. the bullshit. You have, uh, you have problems talking about your feelings. He doesn't. Well, he's a faggot. Let's. Uh, can I like? Can I read? No, I want to. Re- I want to read it. All right, you read. All right, Brit. Brit. <laughs> I really want you to know where I'm coming from. This card says it all. I wish I could explain what has happened to me since we met, but no words will suffice. Ooh, thesaurus.com. And it's written in like backwards E's, upside down A's. No, it isn't. I'm grateful that you and I have crossed paths in this crazy world. Usually, I'm extremely reserved, but when you're around me, you help me to remember where I come from. I hope that one day, well, dot dot dot, maybe dot dot dot, or maybe not. Nevertheless, man, I really have to find the damn cat that stole my tongue. Well, don't forget that I got your back, honey. H-U-N-N-Y. I'm glad you have chosen Chicago to make your home. Never change. Ruben. Let me look at this. On the back of the card it says, and most important, I'm here to remind you as often as you need that things are going to be okay. Let's see. Man, I really have to find that damn cat that stole my tongue. No, you have to find the other man who put the dick in your ass. You faggot. What kind of guy writes this card... To my girlfriend. Now, what we're going to do here tonight is give out the number for his work. This is weird. His his handwriting changes. See, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to write down the length of the card like this. Yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna decide. This to guy write down writes it. on a diagonal on each trifle. I mean, it's it's oh hard to god, follow. it's awful. It's almost like three frames of a comic yeah. strip. And uh, Brit, is it? Oh god, what's this part? She he says, 
I mean, as a boyfriend, do I have to go down there and make a Reuben sandwich out of his face? Yeah, he says you should fuck you fuck that fuck that guy Mike D. He's a waste they of time. Didn't say Did you that. read that? Yeah, right on the back. Here. Oh, it's in small print. It says fuck that guy. Hallmark actually added that in. Is this is this is this something that we're supposed to do as responsible adults for the community? Yeah. Okay. I think as a boyfriend, I have to do something like this. No, you're supposed to go down there. You're supposed to be. You're supposed to go. You throw this at him. You go. No. The fuck is this? Well, this is what fuck I want to do. You want to fuck with me? You want to fuck with me? Well, the best part is That's if he asks, did you get my card? She'll go, what card? I gave that envelope to my boyfriend. Hello, you're on the Red Bar Show. Hold on, man. It's Red Bar. Was, yeah. was there a page the man. card? Did you say, hello, it's Red Bar? Yeah, I'm not thinking. I'm you looking heard? at your name on Skype. Oh, what a pussy. You screwed yeah, up. You your screwed face. up. He so got look. so nervous that he screwed up. I don't understand what I was happened. reading your name. He called in. He goes, hey, it's Red Bar. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. No, that's what he said. But it is Red Bar. He's Red Bar? No, I said that as my name, stupid. What? You're the listen. one who's stupid, sir. What happened? I agree, but listen. What do you need? I'm listening. I, I got some bad food, so this is the phone number I'm going to use. 773-871. Quadruple five, right? Yep. All right, it's time to make some complaints. I'll call you back. Record okay, can us. you record any of these? I don't know how, how you do that. Or just write them down. Write the transcript down. Yeah, call us back. Let us know what happens. All right. Thanks. Well, we this can still talk about the time. issues. Wait, this is the issue. My girlfriend <laughs> is getting cards from the guy who goes, yo, Brittany, you want me? I live in a halfway He how lives in a halfway how house. How old is he? So he's like 30. Yeah. He lives, he's like an alcoholic on the 12-stepper. Yeah, you better look out. This guy could He's always offering uh, to take her to the grocery store. This sounds like a fatal attraction scenario here. I don't know if you want to say, you know. Ooh. Oh, he's going downtown. You think so? Oh, yeah. Look at that card. Look at the price on the back, too. Yeah, let's see. 249 he spent. 249 that son of a bitch. What goes through the mind? Of a straight man picking out a pink card with flowers on it. What does he get to think? That she's going to pull it. She dates. She like hates this shit. When she pulled. If she nah, pulled this she, out. She, she, no. Uh, girl, uh, she hates it because maybe, you know, she you you don't like it. But when she pulls that out, she goes, oh, this is sweet. No, she doesn't. All girls do that. Really? Yeah. Oh, card. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, that's like a, that's like... A, Never change. Oh, let me read it Never ch- Yes, she should change. There's a million things wrong with that girl. Well, never if, she never, if she never What is changed. this guy, psychotic? Never change. Keep stomping, keep bitching. I love it all. Blue Light Bill says he's on hold with Take 5 right now. He's going to let us know what's happening. Let's, let's call her if you want to talk about his stomach. It's on my no mind, too. No one wants too. to talk about my stomach. we got to take a quick right. little break. We'll be right back on the Red Bar Radio Show! Number one in the street. RedBarRadio.com Come on! It's the number one place for hip-hop and R&B, son! RedBarRadio.com Number one in the street. It's the Red Bar Radio Show! Blue Light, you're on the show. Hey, Blue Light, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Real quick, um... I called him, and they said he's not in tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the manager, he, he's a dick, whoever that guy was. Yeah, fuck that so, guy. Yeah, he, cause, uh, he asked me, he goes, is there a problem or something? I said, yeah. I said, I was spitting my food. And uh, he was like, well, I, I, I doubt how that happened. And I said, well, what's the chances of him cooking without his pants on? And that's when he, he got real mad when I <laughs> yeah. hung up on him. That's when he got real mad. Yeah, he didn't like that. He was like, well, now you're attacking my employees. And I said, I'm not attacking your employees. I said, he's attacking my food. He's not cooking with any pants on. So, yeah, I think, that, they would know. I think they would know, though, if he wasn't cooking with pants on. What you have yeah, to do is when that was you, a whole go joke. To, you go to a restaurant and they have a, you see a cook or a server with their shirt untucked, then that's bad news because you don't know if they're reaching down in their pants. Oh, yeah. You always want a shirt tucked in at a restaurant. Plus, just the style aspect of it all. Oh, yeah. It looks much more yeah. It's much more slimming. Or when you go to a restaurant and the waiters are wearing red suspenders hanging down off their waist What's with a mean? swastika on their forehead. Oh, yeah. That's the worst. You're like, can I have yeah, some food? And they're bad. like, aye! 
Yeah, the old you, you get a Nazi. Uh, you go to these oh Nazi. Oh my god! Takeouts. I went to this steakhouse the other day. All Nazis. They tried to kill me. You got you got you know Himmler seating people. Himmler, Himmler. Yeah. You should have seen what he said to me. He goes, "Do you want steak or a baby's heart?" Or baby. I heart. said, "How about I look at the menu? Why would you offer me two things?" Very strange day. <laughs> 